Hi, I am Olga Catalina Castillo Robles and I am presenting my master project called Online Employee Training Program for the Center for Early Childhood Education. Let's meet the client. CC is a renowned child care center in Emporia, Kansas. They have a high staff turnover, so they have an imp improvement opportunity, which is to maintain an always trained staff. How? The solution is to create and implement an online training course to be completed by every new employee before or during the first working weeks. So let's go to the analysis phase. I met the client met multiple times and I collected data by observations to the audience. And at that point, the conclusion was that the performance of the employee was affected by the knowledge of many topics such as TC generalities and food safety. The design stage, the learning objectives were found and I started designing the uh, training strategy. So here are the learning objectives. Basically, apply theoretical knowledge and necessary procedures in specific and general childcare situations. Some of the instruction characteristics are the use of multimedia case study, learning content, content interactivity, and second, third chance program. So I also developed a timeline to follow through all the process. The ADI instructional model was chosen to be followed, um, as well as the technology to be used. And the content was obtained from the focus on food safety from the Kansas Department of Agriculture and from the Child and Adult Care Food Program Administrative Handbook. The subject matter expert is a current employee of the institution, Lauren T. So the development stage. During the development stage, I build everything that was already designed. For example, the assignments, every lesson, videos, audios, images, case studies, the directions, and more models were added as well from external uh, websites. I'm going to show you very quick how it looks, the final product. So this was the development stage, and that was the training website. So implementation. It was conducted a pilot implementation where volunteers took the class and followed the pilot implementation directions that were given to them. And then they submitted their work through video or audio. Then I took some notes and fixed the mistakes that were in the instruction. And I realized that the theoretical time changed. From three hours, it changed to two hours and the evaluation. This instruction process had three evaluations. One is the instruction evaluation after each phase. The second is instruction evaluation after the development. And the third is the evaluation after every learner submission. Conclusions. The pilot implementation is a tool that helps evaluate how better can do a instructional designer. Good communication saves time. A will conduct analysis and design uh, steps is the development stage. Thank you very much for your time. Uh, if you have any question, please send me an email.